circumstances coming out on top against Kenya and then after that what we've just seen Uruguay beating Georgia so the winner of this will face Uruguay in the semi-finals later today Uganda kickoff climbing high for this one is Cristobal Garmi the short side, Salas wants things to go off Garafulik, who struggles to get moving. His legs were taken very well indeed by Etoile. Diego Vanka, diminutive number 10, who pulls all sorts of strings and is already moving Uganda around the pitch. His Garme now on the ball. Big, powerful player who has an offloading game to go with it. Ernesto Chimino. And they're building momentum here, and Clemente Armstrong takes things into the 22. Salas, everyone loaded onto the right hand side. Now, Gonzalo Lara, all 100 kgs of his weight at speed, has set this up. Chimino saw the space on the blind side to put it down with one hand and somersault into the celebration. Chile with the first score in the quarter final. Thumbs up from the bench for Ernesto Chimino. Was that for the try or the celebration, do we think? Vanken. Missing with the kick. This is the power of Lara. You have to wrap him up low and high. It always takes two. And then there's space for the theatrics. That's where the cameras are around this pitch, Ernesto Chimino by now. I'll put time back on. Time on. Good start from Chile. Finished second in their group to Kenya yesterday. And Uganda, one of those who also performing well. Finishing second in their group behind Hong Kong, China. Vankan goes to work again. Garafulik straightens, then that's that dangerous arm that keeps everyone at bay five meters away go Chile Salas caught good press from Uganda Lara got a Fulik. everything brimming nicely for Chile here and then the power comes on again from Chimino. There's space out here. Salas just has to find his man. Offside. Again, the go offside. Salas. Leaves it to Vanken, who steps. The number 10 gets it back to Salas. There is an overlap here, but Salas rather eats up all that space. So Uganda's defence uh, surviving through a minute of phase play here. Going through every set of hands on the field, now Armstrong at speed. Brilliant defence from the Cranes, but for how much longer can they hold off Clemente Armstrong? Vanken, Vanken gets it on to Lara. Now this is a mismatch for anyone on the circuit, and Lara dies down for try number two. Chile in cruise control against Uganda. I do think methodically, um, this Chilean team, yeah, thanks, Julian. ever I so slowly, it. but ever so steadily, Uganda were pulled which way, then the other, and by the time this lands in Lara's hands, it is a walkover. Tolbert's on Yango and his coaching team. Taken by the Cranes and hardly had the ball to work with. No conversions for Chile, which uh, is very interesting to note. 
It's a, a bit of a, a miss, an aberration from Thomas Salas, who's been kicking really well this weekend to not convert either of those two tries. They were far out in the corner. Nonetheless. All these familiar names for Ugandan players, Wakaraj, Adrian Casita, Ian Munyani, Afoy Woth, they've all been in contact overnight to say congratulations to this team on qualifying for the quarterfinals. Ugandan fans around the world, Roman Uganda, Kampala, the hub for rugby in the country, all expecting to see what this young team is capable of. Now maybe we'll get a chance in the quarterfinal. Down to the blind side they go with Adonite Wheat. There's Okeni, who's watched well by Chile, and he has to be, but the over-eager Chilean hands on the floor. The Chile have done their homework on this Ugandan team overnight. That was a well-staffed blind side. To stop this man here, Norbert Okeni, he has power and he has a lot of speed. And more than that, there's so much uh, guile as well. And intelligence to when he chooses to try and take opponents off. Don't break early. Boy stability on the hit piece. Alex Atorinda against Cristobal Garme on this side of the scrum, the two sixes locking heads. And a nightway gets it away. Good scrum from Uganda, but that pass is potentially a difficult one. And it's going to put Uganda back into their 22. Or Kenny has to go to ground here. Taken quickly, though, by the captain and Corey. There's a chance here on the left hand wing with Adonaitui. Etoile, or Kenny. Uganda have realigned well and picking off Chileans as they go. That's intercepted. However, Chimino is away. He'll need to be run down, or Ugandan hopes will fade with this try just before half time. Another dive. Chimino, the game breaker in this first half. They pick these brave cranes off for a third score. To the 10, please, Uganda. That's uh, Ernesto Chimino done for a while, I think. Vanka will want this to put things to 17, and that's uh, a little bit more breathing space. It's not lost for Uganda. It's just going to be very, very difficult. Chimino running in and away to create an extra yard of space. And he just knows where the cameras are around this pitch, doesn't he? Still time in the first half. Chile so often in come through tight matches where there's one score or two scores, and that's it. But here, they're opening up their attacking repertoire. And it's all from their impressive defence. But maybe Uganda, with seconds running out on them in this first half, could come up with something. It's the overarm pass from Aaron Aitwi, bundling into Chilean defenders and still hammering forward up to the halfway line. They haven't entered Chile's half in this first half. Mogisha, they will do now. Atorinda, now Norbert Okeni sets his sights on the try line for number seven for the weekend. The lightning feet of Norbert Okeni flashing down the right hand touchline. And they are in the contest. Okeni gets it done. Conversion knocked over as well, so we're back to a 10-point difference. How crucial is this? Only attack they've had of the match with any real meaning, and they got it to the man who means the most when he gets going. Tongue out as well. Ugandan fans flying their flag behind him. Okay. Lástima la última. Flaco. La clave del partido.
partido. Está en lo que hicimos el primer arriba, tiempo. Chile, Chile, arriba, 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 arriba. Hay que tener la pelota, juego de tres. Está Cristóbal y paciencia que el trae va a venir. Ahora, cuando no tenemos la pelota, Nico, hay que aflojar con las infracciones. Una de Tito allá, otra de Nico allá y nos van metiendo. Entonces, esperemos cerca del 12 de ellos que la pelota va a venir. ¿Está Pancho? Un poquito más de paciencia en defensa. Dale. Pero no, 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 se le ríe, ok, vámonos. Va a venir la pelota. Cambio de Pancho por Tito. Tanto un poquito más. Bueno, escucha una cosa, digo, tenemos la salida fundamental de tener la salida o ir a pelearla y recuperarla, ok? Uganda grooving and signs that out on the pitch they are on song now. Kenny will need a few more tries to claw back this 10 point deficit. The winner goes through to face Uruguay in the semi finals. If it's Chile, they also book a ticket to Madrid in two weeks' time. If it's Uganda, it's their best result in challenger history since it began in 2020. Poquito Mas was asked for from Joaquin Todeschini in the Chilean huddle. A little bit more, boys, that's all we need. Would be the approximate translation. Number six, scrum. The Ugandan ball. So let's see if they can pick things up in sixth gear. There's a calmness to this uh, young team, despite their relative inexperience to the team that they could have fielded here. They're not happy, by the way. The, the frontline names have been left behind, rested for what's to come. They have. The Monaco repechage, then they head to Mauritius for two legs of the Africa men's sevens. That acts as a qualifier for next year's Challenger Series. So they have to finish in the top two to be on the Challenger next year as well. So there are important days ahead. That's why the big names aren't here, but they weren't happy about it. They wanted to be here and see what was capable in this last Challenger outing. Here's Okeri. So much is possible when he's on the ball. He gets his legs taken. Chile counter, but it's still with Uganda. Held up by Francisco Uros, all his 15s experience. He's being called upon here. Salas will lend his weight. And they've done it. They've got that one back. That was an important blockade of Uganda. If they spun that out of that mall, there would have been numbers on to the left-hand side. It's been a wonderful uh, feeling and atmosphere around the Ugandan team here. Unfortunately, we don't film the warm-ups here in Munich, but if you'd seen them, there was a lot of dancing involved, a lot of musical chair style warm-ups, singing and having a, a very, very good time just in the warm-up. It's not been so much fun in this match so far, but there's still time to come back. Abucci with that last carry. This is Aveli who's come on at half time. Salas, and it's two on two on the edge here, so Salas has to conjure a rabbit out of a hat. Doesn't do that. Finds support instead, and it's a straight line. Look at this from Roros. He is charging. He is looking for support, and it's Lara who just can't be beaten when he's got a lick of speed up like that. Gonzalo Lara with a second. It's the big boppers who are touching down for Chile. Two from Lara, two from Ernesto Chimino. That's 
Barca. Zeroed in on the posts. Lovely strike. Salas did well to reset. And then this direct downtown style of play. Look at Uros here. Sucking in the oxygen around him to get those legs pumping. And this man, all 100 kgs of him. Shaking the stadium foundations with that dive. Tap back. Uroz was in the hunt here. And Uganda with three minutes 35 to play. We'll need to strike back very, very quickly. Here's Osuna. He's playing his first international tournament in uh, Ugandan colours here. Or Kenny's pass. Doesn't go forward. Play on for Uganda. And this is Aaron Aikwi. Thundering into the 22. Penalty. Now, great chance here for the Cranes. Little slip pass on the inside to Osuna. Vankham, that's brilliantly done. But it's got into the hands of Alex Atorinda, who was a couple of seconds ahead of everybody else on the pitch. And it lands in his hands, and all he has to do is touch it down. Uganda still hanging tough in the quarterfinal. Well, brilliant work from Diego Vankham, but he just hadn't planned on who he was going to pass it to. Atorinda with the tap and go. Good switch with Osuna. That's brilliant from Varka, but he's played it right to Atorinda. Again, it's 10 points the difference. And again, there's so much time for Uganda. Wherever you're watching on from around the world, if you're in Chile, if you're in Uganda especially, then hang on to your hats. This could get tense. Chile, of course, will confirm their presence at the final of the World Series, of the Seven Series this year in Madrid, and have a chance to compete for qualification to it next year if they win this match. Two minutes to see at home. Uros. No panic stations when he's on the ball. Salas, well, he gets... Bartholomew Kizito up in his eye line. Lovely. Wheels round the edge from Strabucci. Advantage, offside. Uganda straight offside. Salas doesn't switch well, but he was playing with house money. And with 90 seconds to play, it's a very strong position, this. Over here, Marcia. Salas uh, kicks to touch, a man who honed his craft, at least in some part, in the colours of Toulouse, in another powerhouse European city in France. Number six. Yeah, well, you can come in closer. Reinforcements called upon. Come in, over here. Davis Schwimmer yeah, is on for Uganda. 60 seconds or so to run. This will have to be pinched, pilfered. And profited from for Uganda in double quick time. Well, this quarter final will eke away from them. Chile, Salas looking to put the icing on the cake here. Good take. Offside. Uganda were offside. Offside, back line. It's Uruguay who lie in wait for Chile if they can hold on to this. That two South American nations. Facing off against each other. Two steps back, please. Brings an appetizing prospect to light, doesn't it? Never less than pragmatic, this Chilean team. Second in Dubai, where they lost to Kenya in the final. They were fourth in Montevideo, where they also lost to Kenya for the bronze medal there. And Going to book themselves into another semi final. Stay behind, behind. You're always in an offside position. But more importantly, it is Madrid that they are destined 
to fly to in two weeks' time. Varnken kicks it out. They will be competing for a place on the HSBC 7 Series next year in Madrid. And that'll be 